Howdy y'all. It's been a minute. I have been wanting to actually hold myself accountable. Hold myself accountable is not the right turn of phrase. I have wanted to be more consistent about making videos because this is something that I care a great deal about. So, um, without actually knowing how many people actually give a shit about this, aside from me, uh, I wanted to just start being more, uh, consistent and really have more fun with my makeup than I'm currently having right now. It's kind of like I get up in the morning and it's like, I sense a disturbance in the force. I wanted to just have more fun, like I said. It's the end of a long day for me, so I'm not actually going to do a full phase. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the one product that really got me started on my a cosmetics journey. And that is lipstick. God damn, if loving lipstick is wrong, I don't want to be right. I have almost 50 lipsticks, which is more than any person needs in their lifetime. I don't, I don't regret buying any of them. So on that note, let me show you some of my faves. This is the uh, Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in uh, pink. So I remember getting this probably in 2015, so like three years ago. It's a really old lip balm. I love this balm so much. It's not at all sticky or tacky. It's just, it's it's got a really nice smell to it. Um, it leaves a really nice sort of sheer tint on the lips and on the rare day where I'm not feeling like doing any makeup, I will at the very least put this stuff on because it just feels so good, you know? Another one that I really love is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Uh, this one is in Zurich. I remember getting this in like an Ipsy Glam bag last year and I was like, what is this? It's a matte that doesn't dry my lips to hell. I just bought a new one in Cannes. I, I really like the sort of pinky nude shades in the Soft Matte Lip Cream just because I think they're very flattering. They're very easy to wear for work um, or just kind of like going out. For what I would call a value brand, um, they're pretty long lasting, very wearable, um, and I have used this one up almost entirely, um, which is why I bought uh, the other one, but it's, it's a great um, product if you like the look of matte lips but hate having that like sort of dried out feeling. This feels like the crown jewel of my lipstick collection. This is one of Pat McGrath's uh, Lux Trance lipsticks. Um, first of all, just the packaging is so, I mean, it is befitting of the name Lux. Like it's just, it's got weight. Um, you've got the really beautiful gold lips on the front. You've got the, the very sleek black packaging and then you pop that off and then you just twist this guy up like it's beautiful. Between this and um, the new Lancome lipsticks are like tied for my favorite packaging of all and um, obviously Pat McGrath is not only known for her gorgeous packaging but the product goes on in one swipe. The color is just gorgeous. Um, major red which is what this guy is works really well. I have sort of a neutral undertone to my skin and I'm obviously very fair um, and it just it wears beautifully. It does look almost pink on my on my lips but if I apply it properly um, it looks like a true red which is obviously the goal. 
So this is my other uh, favorite uh, lipstick in terms of packaging and actually in terms of formulation as well. This is the Lancome uh, L'Absolu Rouge in Rose Lancome. So you just you press the top and it pops down and you just get this beautiful bullet that just twists up. Um, it's, it's just a really gorgeous shade. It looks sort of like pinky red in the bullet, but it comes out to this gorgeous, bright, um, fuchsia-y pink, um, on the lips. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I really like wearing that one in the spring and summertime. It's just very bright and cheerful, and, uh, as far as, like, sort of bright, statement lips go, that one is one of my absolute favorites. My absolute favorite. Oh, Hillary. Stop it. So, this is another gloss, but it's very pigmented, so I don't feel bad including it, unlike the, the Dior, although I don't feel bad about including the Dior, because that's one of my babies. Um, this is a MAC lip gloss in shade Heroin. Um, I ended up finding this one because it's almost an exact dupe for a Marc Jacobs gloss uh, called Raspberry Beret, um, which I really liked but didn't feel like dropping Marc Jacobs dollars that day. So I ended up going on Temptalia, which I highly recommend if you have not already been there. But of course you have. Of course you have. Um... And I found that this shade uh, in the MAC lip gloss is almost, it's almost an exact dupe. Um, so I got this, and actually I got a, a pencil that is a, a, a pretty good match for it as well. That's not right. I have a lot of lip pencils. Um, highly recommend getting a lip pencil too. This is uh, the lip pencil in Magenta. It's a MAC. So these two go really well together. Um, and if I'm ever going for like a really bright lip, it looks super purple on me. It doesn't pull super purple unless I like layer it on. It does look more fuchsia. Um, and I know some people, like, don't really care about the distinction, but I do. And then finally, because I don't want to bore you guys, um, I wanted to go with my favorite liquid lip, and that would have to be the NARS, um, what's this guy called? It's the Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. This one was really big when it first came out, I want to say, two years ago? Um two, three years ago. Um, and it's just, it's a really beautiful, like, dusty rose shade. Um, for me, like, that is almost exactly my, my actual lip color. So, um, I, I really like wearing this one as well to work. Um, it's very long lasting, does not pass my buffalo wing test, but very few, lipsticks do. Buffalo wing test, which is exactly what it sounds like, is I eat an entire plate of buffalo wings and see if my lipstick is still on afterwards. Um, typically, most lipsticks, um, including matte, so like especially creams and satins, are uh, don't really stand up very much to super greasy foods, um, which is why I use buffalo wings. <laughs> Like, the disgusting standard. NARS actually, I mean, if you're just having, like, a, like I said, a typical work day, or you're going out with friends and you're not eating an entire plate of buffalo wings because you're not disgusting like me, um, it'll hold up just fine. And, um, while liquid lipsticks do tend to be a little bit more finicky in terms of having to kind of, like, take everything off to reapply, um, this one is pretty pretty forgiving all things considered. I'd still probably recommend like starting from scratch if you have to reapply, but I have definitely just gone straight on with whatever is left after I eat wings. So that's it for me for now. Um, 
I know it wasn't a full, you know, get ready with me or a tutorial or anything, but I am trying to ease back into this. So uh, bear with me. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see. Uh, and until next time, later Gator.